you, my friend, are wasting time editing. And if you do just five things, I can actually save you hours every single week. The good news is, they're really not hard. I'm editing on DaVinci Resolve, but these tools and tricks can help with any editing software. The first thing you need to do is create some templates. I'm not talking about the super complicated graphics. I'm talking about like super basic stuff that you use in all of your edits. For example, the chapter screen that I just used a few seconds ago, or the shot info labels that I use over on my main channel. All I do to keep this as simple as possible is I have a project in my editing software that's dedicated to just holding all of these presets. When I design a new title that I like, I just copy it and paste it here. And then when I wanna reuse it in a new project, I go to this project, copy it, and then paste it in the new project. What's unique about this approach and actually just helps save time is that you can save your sound effects no matter where they come from with the visual effects. It's basically like having LUTs for your graphics. And by the way, if you don't have LUTs, that's another essential way to save time when you're editing. And I have a whole tutorial on that. I'll have that linked at the end of this video. In the same vein as tip number one is tip number two, but I have an even smoother way to do this. You need to build a personal asset library of all of the clips and sound effects that you use on a regular basis so that they're easily accessible. The default downloads folder is not your friend because it will get messy and you absolutely will accidentally delete some stuff. You need something specific like YouTube assets to store all of your PNGs and your background or B-roll footage. Now you can do the same thing with music and sound effects if you like, which is what I used to do, but I have an even better way to do it now, which is with Epidemic Sound. This is not sponsored by Epidemic Sound, I just kinda wanna share my own workflow with you. Epidemic has an awesome extension for Resolve, Premiere Pro, and coming soon, I think, Final Cut. Basically, it allows you to use their site built into your editing software. You can search, edit, and import music and sound effects without ever leaving DaVinci. So within Epidemic's extension, I have all of the songs that I like, all of the playlists, and all of the sound effects that I routinely use saved and able to just be grabbed, dragged, and dropped onto my timeline. All of this without having to store things on my own drive. It's just a much smoother way of doing things and it has definitely saved me a ton of time. Plus they have a free trial. So if you're interested, I'll link that down in the description. You can try it out totally for free. Next, keyboard shortcuts, but we wanna go beyond the keyboard. Basically, if you're not familiar, a keyboard shortcut is just when you press a particular combination of keys, something happens. Ideally, that something is one of the major operations that you do on a regular basis when you're editing a video. Something like setting in and out points or ripple deleting. The key to this, see what I did there, is customization. Typically, resolves in and out keys are the I and O key, which totally makes sense. But the problem is the I and O key are all the way over on the right side of the keyboard, and that feels really unnatural to me. So I customized it. I made the Q and W the in and out keys, and I made the E key the append at the end of timeline key. That way, when I'm just laying out my rough edit, I can just go Q, W, E, Q, W, E, and it is much quicker and way more comfortable. You can change all of this stuff under DaVinci Resolve and then keyboard customization, or for Premiere people, you can do Premiere and then keyboard shortcuts. Just having the keyboard laid out in a functional way is already gonna make a big difference, but if you really wanna ramp up your editing efficiency, you need to get a mouse like the MX Master that has programmable buttons where you can bind shortcuts. Whatever combinations or controls you use most when you're editing, bind them to the the extra buttons on an editing mouse. For me, that's select clip, delete, and select all clips to the right of the cursor. You can even take it a step further with a dedicated control module like the tour box, but I just recommend off the bat, get your keyboard sorted and then get a good mouse. When it comes to your actual editing workflow, you need to approach it systematically. If you're constantly hopping between A-roll, B-roll, color grading, special effects, sound design, sound tracking, and polishing touches, your brain will never be able to get into a flow state with any of the production steps. I start with my rough cut, and then I go through and do a polishing pass on all of my A-roll. That includes simple transitions like J-cuts, and color. After the A-roll is sorted, I add B-roll and visual effects. Then I color the B-roll. Next is sound effects, followed by sound tracking. Then the video's done. Something like this is going to be the most efficient way of editing for pretty much everybody. That said, you wanna watch out for burnout, which is why habit five is so important. 
You might think that white knuckling an edit is the fastest way to get it done, which might be true if you slam a Red Bull beforehand, but that's really not healthy and it's also just not how the brain works. To be motivated and edit as quickly as possible, you want to gamify the process or set up a sort of reward system. For me, that's super simple. I have a to-do list where I write out each step in the video editing process and when I get done with it, I cross it out and that just gives me like a little dopamine hit. When each step is complete, I give myself like a little break, whether that's to go grab a snack or to check my messages. But the most important thing is no social media because you know you'll be scrolling if you break down a long video into digestible little bites, it becomes a lot easier to focus and work efficiently. So if you haven't yet, give this a shot. Let me know how it works for you. Also, let me know what your current process is because everybody works differently and I'm really curious to see how you perform best. 